Hello, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, and welcome to a new series. Uh, this is Tech It Classic Reborn. It's available on the Technic platform as well as the, um, the Feed the Beast platform, I'm pretty sure. Don't quote me on that. I use Technic. Um, now, this is basically all of the mods from the original Tech It Classic updated into uh, 1.7.10. So you've got stuff like Forestry and... Uh, remakes of Equivalent Exchange 2, like Project E and Project Red, stuff like that. These things that are remakes of old mods, uh, and they put them all together. I think it's a guy called N Nithlis or something like that, N N Nithlis, uh, who took over from from a, another guy prior to that. Uh, and we're going to be uh, we're going to be playing uh, some of this uh, this new tech, tech at Classic Reborn. Um, so I've set up a house as you can see and I've also done a bit of mining and a uh, a bit of work on this server uh, before setting up but I haven't really done any like, advanced machiney stuff so what I figured we'd do first is um, oh why am I in cheat mode so what I think we'd start by doing today is since it's nearly night I think we'll start by setting ourselves up in industrial craft so the first thing we're gonna need is rubber trees we're gonna need rubber trees the one thing i haven't done so far is get rubber from rubber trees and for that we're gonna need actual wood so first of all i'm gonna have a little nap uh okay now we're gonna come down here uh we haven't got any sticks either crap that means we're actually gonna have to go out and punch wood now, I have found some dungeons off camera, which are important because they're how we get Iridium ore. I haven't raided them, I've just found them. Uh, and so we will go and do that eventually as well. Uh, let's start by getting you, and then we're also going to want some tree taps. So we'll make a couple of tree taps. Whoops. And we'll come over here. Uh, now these are rubies, right? You find rubies just down in the ground, um, and they're basically the tools you make from rubies have the same efficiency as an iron pick, but the durability of a diamond pick, I think it is, or something, something crazy like that. So they're very worthwhile making, especially since there's not really a lot you can do with them aside from making the tools. Right, so now what we're going to do is try and find a rubber tree. Now, rubber trees are very distinct in uh, appearance, as many people will probably know. Uh, you can tell them by that little, um, I don't know why I'm about to point at the screen. I mean, I know you can see me, but it doesn't make much difference. Uh, they have the little two blocks or three blocks of leaves above them. Uh, and that's how you can tell if a rubber tree is present. Now, we want to be heading over to it uh, with our tree taps. Oh, there's a couple here. Excellent. We'll get this one at the top first, because I can see some resin on there. Now, resin is this little patch here. You right-click. Oh. Where did my... Where, where'd my resin go? Ah, oh, there it is. You're, you're after this resin, because this is what you cook up to make rubber. All right, so now... We're just going to have a little look around the sides of this tree. Yeah, we got another one. And we're going to tap it. Uh, where is it now? That resin definitely comes out. It's just a matter of... There it is. There we go. Oh, nice. Full resin that time. Uh, let's have a look up here. Anything. And I'm doubtful there'll be any more notes on this tree. We've got a rubber tree sapling, however, which is useful. Because... We can take it back to our house and craft ourselves, uh, uh, plant ourselves even another rubber tree. Uh, right, so we're just going to have a little look around here. Okay, we have arrived back home. I am starving to death somewhat. The first thing I'm going to do is take these trees out, quickly just clear a little area around here, and plant those three trees. We can always bone meal them up if we desperately need rubber later on. Right, let's come in here and we need a generator. So what you do is you type generator. What's that? 
for forestry. Biogenerator. Anyway, generator. Right. Helpful. Uh, we just want a regular run-of-the-mill generator. So for this, we're going to need a basic machine casing, an RE battery, and a furnace. Right. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to start by just grabbing some coal. Then I'm going to grab uh, some iron. Grab 16 iron, some tin. Uh, and we're going to need some sticks as well. Right. Okay. Let's go downstairs. This is where I've got my furnaces currently. We're going to start by cooking up one, two, three. Let me think. We're going to need one, two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah, five. Five iron in this furnace. We're then going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in this furnace. And what do we need for the battery? We need tin casings. So that's two ingots and some cable. So we'll cook up th three tin ingots, I think, in this furnace, like so. Right. Then I'm just going to toss in a few extra of these because I'm pretty sure to make an RE battery, we need a cutter, which is more iron. So I'm going to go up and grab a couple bits more of iron on this chest. Uh, we'll grab, I don't know, six more. That ought to do for our first foray into machinery. Uh, and we will fetch that and chuck him in there and place another one of these. Right, we need five iron ingots. So these five iron ingots that you've got, what you want to do with them, take them over to the crafting bench, place these like so, and two in that. That makes you a forge hammer. Now this is useful for making your plates. So now if we come back downstairs, and if the server stops lagging out. <sighs> Sorry, I've, I've got a drink this time so that I can keep refreshing my voice. Um, we can then take up iron ingots and we can press E. Put the forge hammer there and that gives you iron plates. And we need eight of them. Now, if we go back upstairs to our crafting bench... We can do that, and that gives us a basic machine casing. What else did we need? We needed... Ooh, got a bit of lag here again. We've got a furnace block. Then we want to get some redstone, because we'll need that for the battery. Right, now we need to go and collect our tin, as well as our iron. Now we can put the resin in there. And we'll let the resin cook up. We'll just remove our extra bits of iron. We'll make three iron plates. There we go, with our forge hammer. And we'll take our rubber. And then we want to head upstairs. Now, head to the crafting bench. We want to place three iron plates and two iron ingots gives you a cutter. Now what you want to do is you want to mash up some tin plates, mash them again to make item casings, then I'm pretty sure, yeah, you have to mash up your tin and then cut your tin plate and that gives you cable. Then you combine the cable with the rubber to give you insulated cable, put the two redstone in like so and the tin gives you an RE battery. Then you can do the battery plus the machine casing plus the furnace gives you a generator. And this is the first piece of equipment we will need to get started in industrial craft. Right, so now that we've got that down there, what we can do is we can grab, I don't know, a stack of coal uh, and we can shove it in here. It has its own like energy buffer and it will generate some power for us. So that's all well and good, but the next thing we're going to need is a, uh, is an even extractor. And this will allow us to maximize our rubber output. We just want a regular extractor, which is a basic machine casing, an electronic circuit, and four tree taps. So we've got some wood. Oh, bit of lag again. 
give it a moment, it should catch up, or we'll get kicked. One of those two things will happen. There we go. Right, so how many do we need? It said we need four. One, two, three. One, two. They have to be full durability tree taps as well. Uh, can we not? Apparently not. We're going to need more wood. Uh, so for that, I'm going to sleep quickly. Oh, fuck. Right. Out we go. As well. <laughs> so pretty, as pretty as you can make in Minecraft. Right, so we want to go back into our crafting bench, turn this into wood, and that is a fourth tree tap. Done. Right, what was the next thing we needed? An electronic circuit. So for this, we need an iron plate and insulated copper cable. So for that, we're going to need six more six more resin cooked up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, got a bit trigger happy there. And that should start. I think we've just got a bit more lag. There we go. It's doing its thing. Uh, we need a lot more iron. So I'm going to go up. I'm going to place you in here and take out another 10 iron, so that seems reasonable. Uh, we'll open you, we'll put you in here, and you in here, just toss another one of those in. Right, it did say we were going to need an iron plate, we're also going to need copper. So let's go and get some copper now. Let's have a look, how much copper do we only need? That's one plate. Two plates, I think, is what we'll need. So if we come down here and we I don't know, have a look at our two plates, like so uh, we'll also need redstone. So we'll come back up and we'll grab some redstone. One, two, and we'll come back down. Okay, nice. There's our rubber. There's some more iron. There's the first of the copper, which we are now going to. Smash with the forge hammer, uh, not make into copper plates. We're going to then take it with the cutter, and that gives us two. So we're actually going to need a bit more copper, which isn't a problem. Not a problem at all. The spiders are getting really annoying, though. Um, I'm just going to... Music and sounds. Turn hostile creatures down to 50. That's still insanely annoying. Uh, but it's just a bit quieter for me. Uh, we're going to need one more copper. Oh my god, spiders, shut up. Don't make me come and kill you. Sons of bitches. Uh, right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go out and fuck them up. I, I can't deal with this. Right, yeah, come on. Come on. You want some? I'll give it you. Enter our house, and we're safe as sound. Right. What the hell is this? Right. Twilight Naga. Right, we're going to put that in there. Um. Okay. So, let's go and grab our remaining iron and copper. Okay. Now, we want to take this copper, smash it with the hammer, and then we want to cut those plates with the cutter. And bear with me a moment, I've got some visitors who need seeing to. Right. Then, you want to take those copper wires and insulate them. Then you take the copper wires, like so, put the copper plate in the middle, the iron plate in the middle, and get yourself an electronic circuit, as demonstrated. Come on then, zombie. If you want to die, just step right up. Then you want to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Take those eight, smash them with the forge hammer to make iron plates. Then we run the iron plates around here, and that gives you a basic machine casing, as we've already covered. Iron casing, four tree taps, the electronic circuit gives us an extractor. Now, this is how I do my setups. You can do yours however you choose, but you need it connected to the power. You can either do that by running cables from your generator to the extractor, or you can do what I'm doing and just plonk it right next to it. Now, what we do is we can place our rubber or resin in here, and it'll start extracting it, and it'll burn coal in the process. Now what will happen is this resin should go to three rubber. 
There you go. Three more rubber. So we maximized our rubber output. So now what we're going to do is we're going to have a look for a macerator. Now, a macerator is very similar in design, i.e. you need the basic machine casing and you need an electronic circuit. But instead of tree taps, we need flint and cobblestone. So we're going to need another three, I, uh, another three copper. Another three copper. One, two, three. Uh... One for the casing, uh, one for the circuit, and then another four for that, as well as two for that. Okay, so this should be what we need. So if we place you in here, you in here, that should give us what we need. What we need now is to iron plate you, uh, and then get our rubber because why not right okay and now another unique feature of the extractor is it can extract rubber wood and turn that into uh, rubber as well uh, it's only one rubber but that's still worth it in in the long run so we're gonna do that we're gonna grab our copper and we're gonna grab our iron uh, next we need to fetch ourselves uh, three pieces of flint and two pieces of cobblestone like so we can then convert you into plates and then use the cutters to convert these into cables we can then use the cables with that to make insulated copper cabling we can then do you and you and those two together and that makes our electronic circuit we can hammer up some more iron plates go around like so and that makes us a basic machine casing. And this is the recipe for a macerator. Now, you place the macerator next to power. I'm placing it here. I use a bottle, right? So that if I accidentally knock it over, it won't spill. But I use a leaky bottle. Genius. Um, so this now has power, right? Uh, and what this will do is macerate ores into dust. So if I, I get some iron and we chuck the iron in here, it'll start macerating the ore. And the machines are quite loud. It's got to be said the machines are loud. It makes two dust, or in this case it's crushed iron ore updated versions and stuff uh, and then what you do with them is you smelt them and that will make you two iron ingots so you're basically doubling your ore output now it's all very well and good having this but I'm still I still need a furnace so what we're gonna do next is build ourselves an electric furnace and I will sort that out momentarily right so how many wires are we gonna one two three four and then we're gonna want it over here so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I'm going to need seven copper cables, which is four copper bars. One, two, three, four. We're going to need four copper bars, like so. So I'm going to just get you smelting up in here. I don't really care about macerating them at the moment. I'm not too fussed about it. I just want to sort of get the electric furnace made and so that means we're going to type electric furnace into it electric furnace right okay electric furnace ta-da we'll need an iron furnace uh, a circuit and redstone so we're going to start by making our circuit because those are things we know how to make we're going to need one two three our uh, copper ore and we're also going to need uh one iron So we will now go to here, we're going to chuck you in here, and get you out of there. We'll then smash these guys with the hammer, cut these guys with the cutters, and then ooh, use some rubber on them. Now what we want to do is as follows, run the cabling. Now eventually we'll upgrade this, but for now copper will do. And we'll then just place these back until we set up automation. 
Right, so what we're going to do next is take the copper, take the iron, hammer, bosh, hammer, Ooh. bosh, cutters, chop, uh, and we need a bit more rubber. Fortunately, our rubber machine has been creating us some lovely rubber. Now we take this, combine those, wash, wash, uh, and electronic circuit is made. Right, we need the iron furnace. So that's one, two, three, four, five iron and... Right, so we're going to need five iron. Uh, we've got two, so we just need one, two, three. Okay. Right, is there anything left burning? No, we're just going to plop you in there. We're also going to need a couple of bits of redstone. So we'll go and grab those from the chest. Right. Now we want to go down here. Uh, and we've just basically got to play the waiting game. Uh, unless we want to put this in the furnace as well. And get this smelting up. Okay. Lovely jubbly. Okay. This is finished macerating. This is finished making rubber. We've got three iron. And those are flax seeds. Not crushed iron ore. <laughs> oh, whoops. I thought that was the crushed iron ore. Oh, well, no probs. What we'll do then is we'll just mash these up while we wait. Uh, and we just need to wait for that one to finish. But whilst I wait, I'm going to craft myself a furnace and then we get you and mash that with the forge hammer so now that's the final ingredient that we need to make our electric furnace so one two three four five plates that makes the iron furnace the iron furnace the circuit and the redstone makes an electric furnace and then we place this here and this will charge up excellent so now this can macerate that and then we can smelt it all up in the electric furnace running solely off of this generator. Swell. Uh, right. So that's where we're going to leave it this time, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this first installment of a new series. And if you didn't, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to do it anyway because I enjoy playing this game. And that's what really matters. If I enjoy doing something, I'm going to do it. Um... I hope you found this helpful, even if you didn't, again, going to carry on doing it. Uh, and what we'll do next time is work on automating this setup. Uh, so until then, bye!